Choi T here. We're on our way to Lake Simcoe. A little late start this morning. I'll be honest with you, doing a little something different here. A little late start this morning. Uh, I had to drive my brother to school, but for the most part, uh, we're probably gonna arrive around 9, 9.30. Probably won't start fishing until 10 o'clock, but uh, we're gonna try to put a full day in here. I haven't been to these grounds yet this year. It's been a while that I've been to these grounds, and I know that I usually come here later in the season when the water gets dirtier, um, usually I can throw the camera down and the fish don't get too skittish. But in particular, we're going to a spot today that I know for a fact is loaded with burbot. And last year, every time we went there, all we did was catch burbot. Uh, we saw a few white fish here and there, but I feel like the bourbon, the lake trout are just too thick there and uh, the white fish don't come around as often. Needless to say, we're gonna be chasing burbot today Hopefully maybe catch a couple white fish, maybe even a lake trout. But the goal today, daytime burbot on Lake Simcoe. So stay tuned, enjoy the ride. We're still about an hour away from the lake, so enjoy the ride. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can put some burbot on the ground because I haven't yet to catch a Simcoe bird this year. So stay tuned, we're throwing the underwater camera down, let's see if we can catch some fish. Simcoe. It is crazy windy. We're not going to spend too much time out. We're here with my buddies. We're not going to spend too much time right now. It is crazy windy. We're going to get the hut all set up. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get them. I got a Laker. I wasn't even paying attention and this thing just ate the vibrato. Oh my gosh. Wasn't even paying attention. My mic is all messed up. We're gonna have to just unplug that mic. We're hooked up. I don't even know. Wasn't even paying attention. I had the underwater camera. I was looking at the underwater camera and I just saw this thing come in. I'm like, what the heck is that? Sure enough, lake trout. Go figure. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was insane. I don't even know if I got that on hook set, but that was sick. That thing came in, crushed it. I just hope he doesn't go in my camera. We got three, four fish just passed by. Just passed by, but not easy. Wow. wow. This must be a big lake or buddy. Good one. This has got to be a big one. At least I got the hook set on camera. I don't know if that, that, that hook set was even pretty. That was an ugly hook set. <laughs> Oh, he's big, man. Like, this rod is, this is a beefy rod, and... Thing is, is I got... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got six pound leader. Really? Yeah. Always get me so nervous. If I can do it. There we go, this is Jasper, Pro J Tackle. That's the man himself. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him. Let's go to what? Oh, nice, He's nice, big, nice. But he won't, uh, I wonder if I can just hill grab him. Yeah. 
go up hard, go up hard, go up hard. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Dude! We got him! I go, I got I had to stop by Jasper's at Pro J's yesterday. Cause I'm like, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna catch a Laker soon. Grab myself one of those natural shiner vibratos. Yeah, exactly yesterday. Yeah, exactly yesterday. And I said, <laughs> let's get out it. there and catch some lake trout. <laughs> That is an awesome fish. Look how he ate that thing. Unreal. I'm gonna get that hook out right now. Woo! Beauty. Beauty. That is a beautiful fish. We're gonna get this thing back in the water. We're gonna get a nice release on this fish right here. Next angler, enjoy it. Yes. Sir. There it goes. See you. <laughs> Yo, give me some, man. Let's go. You wanna go, your boy? <laughs> that nice. was sick. He threw up. Gobi? He just threw up a Gobi. He just threw up a Gobi, buddy. You know, it's it's crazy, man. That that thing just came out of nowhere and absolutely crushed it. Just crushed. It. I had no time to spare. I was on my phone trying to make a call for uh, for school, and then sure enough, this thing comes in. Didn't think twice, just clap the vibrato on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> Let's get back out there. Oh, hold on, Tal. I see a Burby in the distance. Burby. Burby, come here. Come here, Burbs. Burb. Oh, he turned. Oh, 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 yeah, he's coming. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Burby, come here. Ooh, he's coming, Tal. Oh, he's going to the top hook. Oh, he ate it! Dude, he got it! <laughs> that was so sad! Yo! That thing chomped it, dude. Chomped it. And we got him. <laughs> that was sick. He came in out of nowhere. Oh, man. This thing just sh all over me dude I reek oh this smells this thing just pooped everywhere got a beautiful bird that thing saw from the distance came in look how they curl up he's not big it's not a big one it's just a little small one beautiful beautiful fish this thing came in from the distance I thought he was gonna go to the bottom and then he just absolutely came up to the top he just came up to that top hook and just smoked it. We're gonna get a release on this fish. We're seeing fish come around now, but he's not big. But we're gonna get a nice release on this guy. Tell all your friends, come around and bite the hook, okay? All right, we are going to let him go. Whoa, relax, buddy. I'm trying to send it down, dude. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. I can't get you down the hole. Oh. I guess that's a graceful release. Kind of been making a little change up here, actually. Uh, but what I've been doing is, you guys already know, I run that top hook. That is like my absolute go-to. But then I also have a bottom bait, you know, just like a Meigs or a Menace. But the trick that I'm actually been doing lately, the trick is, is that instead of running a high hook, we're running literally like, it's pretty, pretty close. I'd say it's about eight inches of leader from high hook to bottom and the reason why I'm finding that is that these fish they're cruising the bottom more but they don't want to eat it off the bottom uh, they, they want to eat it a little bit off the bottom so I'm just banging that bottom and then they'll see that little top hook that's close to that bottom and they'll actually just turn their head as you saw that burbot and boom they eat it right away uh, there's no questions about it it's crazy how fast they just turn up on that bait and just a little something in their in their visual uh, they're eating it a lot better so Try it out next time you're out and uh, hopefully you can put some fish on the ice for you. We're catching fish today. Got some burbot, we're seeing burbot, we're seeing white fish. We're not seeing many, it's a, it is a slower bite. We haven't caught a white yet, but uh, I don't care. I will take burbot and lake trout all day, even if it means only catching two or three of them. There's another burb, I think. I think another burb coming in. Come on, Burby. He's off the camera side. Find it. 
find it. Find it. Come on. That looks like a good burb. Oh, that looks like a good burb. I don't know. Oh, he's a big burbit. That's a big burbit. Got him. What? <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. This is a big bird. This is a big one. I don't know how good I have him hooked, but he's a good one. I'm on. Burbet. Another burbet. Big burbet. Really big one. That was sweet. Came to this box. I knew this was a burbot hole. And I knew you might get some Lakers. Oh my gosh, this wind is just brutal. It's knocking my mic, everything off the camera. Oh, oh, he's in my cam. He's in my camera now. No, no, no. Don't get wrapped up in my camera, boy. Gotta put the bricks to you. Don't get in my camera. Don't get in my camera. Tighten up on you a little bit. I'm only using six pound liters, so I'm trying to stay as stealthy as possible is the real is the real hard part. But <laughs> not big. I, oh my god, they're just pooping all over me, man. They're pooping all over me. Another Lake Simcoe burbit. Oh. Guy just whacked me in the face with his tail, man. Look at the colors on these things. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. And they are a ton of fun. That thing came in, gave it a little, gave it a little wiggle on that uh, on that high hook, and he smoked it. Look at that thing extend its tail for ya. <laughs> you got poop all over me. Whoa. Hey, just point your head down and you'll go. See you later. That was sweet. Oh man, they're pooping all over me. I absolutely reek. But we're catching them here and there. It is it is a slow day without a doubt. We're having a struggle, but patience is key. We're sticking it out. We're seeing a lot of fish. Uh, they just don't want to go. So story of my life, truly, truly story of my life. All right, all right, all right. Let's break this down. Since a lot of you actually enjoyed seeing a lot of the structure breakdowns on my last videos, um, it seemed like that was a high traffic area for all of you. We are gonna do a little quick breakdown on what daytime burbot, what structure I look for in a daytime burbot. Basically, you're gonna have two basins. Okay, I'm gonna highlight those two basins with two markers. You're gonna see them up right now. Those two basins are basically highways for these burbot to resort to during the daytime. So as long as you have nearby humps, which you can see in the graph being 20 feet on your right, and then there's a hump that comes up to 20 feet on your left, there is two adjacent basins that highlight those two humps, if that makes sense. Basically, I would try to find that basin that touches the hump closest to the top of the hump. So I'm gonna throw up two new markers. Uh, we'll change it color to like green. This is where I will be pretty much, this is where I will be staying during the day for burbot. And the reason why is because burbot like to travel around the humps during the daytime. Uh, very rarely you'll see them on the top. Sometimes they come on top and you'll catch one or maybe two. But if you wanna see a high traffic area and be loaded just with burbits, and, and you know, like you're not targeting whiteies here, like you may catch a couple whiteies, but you're targeting burbot. Now, as the day progresses and it gets into nightfall, you're gonna wanna slide up to that nearest shelf, you know, that, that secondary shelf. I'll put another color up. 
Uh, this is a secondary shelf that you're gonna wanna slide onto, either a flat or the, a hump point that's a flat. That just allows these burbot to come up and get ready to get right on top uh, throughout the nightfall. And then during the nightfall, I'm either usually sitting right on top or I usually just sit out in that 30 foot basin, which is basically their home. Uh, either you want to be on a feeding ground, which is the top, or you'll be on the basin, which is their home. Either way, you're going to catch fish. It's just a matter of where you want to sit and which fish are active more that night. All right now we're going to look at the second image here. You're going to get a kind of like a, an idea of what we're kind of looking for on based on all these images. And it becomes a commonality in, in a lot of these images is that you're looking for like basically a hump that has three points of interest. One being the basin two being a secondary ridge and three the top of a hump then the top of the hump cannot be too small i mean there's two humps on this image and there's one hump that i will fish more particularly than let's say the other hump on the right the reason being is because the top comes up to more of a flat versus the other one that's got a top that's very small. And those very small humps could be good for some, you know, if it's a flat shell bed and it's a small shell bed, but most of the time these top of these humps are a lot of rock and boulder and they may come up to feed here and there, but you wanna find those flats, those, those large flat humps now have a nice shallow top where those fish are going to come up and they're going to either spawn they're either going to look to spawn they're going to look to feed you got three options that they're going to be doing and that's where i find my greatest success when i'm fishing these burbot and you want to find the one that's closest to the basin that's probably your biggest tip right there i'll give you is the one that's closest to the basin uh the red marker being where i'd be in the daytime so I'd be over here in the daytime. In the evening, as the evening comes, I would push up into these areas and that would be the green marker. So you could see kind of where I wanna go in terms of as the day progresses. Now, mind you, everyone's gonna have their different successes and their different ways on how they target burbot. But in my general learning experience where I've targeted them over the last couple of years and done this over various lakes such as Lake Nipissing where I've never really been up to and never really targeted them and uh, I think I've only been there a handful of times but every time we do go we do very well and the reason why is because I'm looking for these key zones these key areas amongst the vast majority of structure that's out there uh, and when you do learn about these certain structures you really wean out a lot of structure out there and uh, find the key ones that hold fish. Other than that, that's what I look for when targeting burbot during the daytime. Hopefully this kind of little segment helps and that didn't blabble too much. So yeah, hopefully this helps and uh, we'll get back to fishing. Which is mid, because I already know what I want to wear this year, so I'll just be- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Oh, got one out of nowhere. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me this is another laker. I am not sure this might be a laker or a burbot again <laughs> oh it's a burb but you can literally see look how they just inhale that bait they just crush it they don't even think twice not a big one they're not big like they're all decent sized fish they really got some nice backs on them but they're beautiful fish look at that <laughs> that is so cool Dude, you gotta go down go down see ya later Whew. that was wild i don't know where i saw the bottom kind of flicker and then this thing just went came up boom smoked it let's go let's go baby well, I think we're gonna call it a day. It is 4.15, it is a rough day right now. We didn't do well at all. I will be honest with you. You can tell by probably all the Pringles. all over my face it was a tough day uh i think i marked maybe seven fish all day i think maybe three burbot and one lake trout still a good day we caught fish it's not you know it's not a terrible day we did have a good day any day you're catching fish is a good day it is something to say you caught five fish and maybe marked 20 at least you have that action that keeps you alive throughout 
the day, it was non-existent today. We went at times three hours without seeing a fish. And the only reason is because it is so windy, we cannot move. Uh, it, it, it just didn't work out. So I hope you enjoyed this show and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I mean, uh, we got probably a lot more coming for you. We've got a lot of season left. Without further ado, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. I know if you're watching and you're not subscribing. I'm kidding. I have no idea. But make sure you subscribe because it would mean a lot. Thanks.